Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we get to the part where we're going to start building out the views of our application. Now, I thought initially that I'm going to keep it very simple, but I decided against that because I want to give you guys a little bit more information in Next.js. All right. Now, before we do that, let's quickly start up our local server. So just open up your terminal. In Visual Studio Code, you can see to toggle the terminal is control tilde. So just open up control tilde. As you can see, we got our local our terminal right here. Now, in order to actually start up the server, we just do npm run dev. So as you can see, it will start up a server for us on localhost 3000 right there, and it will load our env file. Now, I just want to give you guys this. If you change anything inside your local environment so in this in env file right here just remember you just need to restart the server for any changes that you do in here to take effect okay so let's go to our localhost 3000 all right so as you can see we got our page running right there on localhost 3000 now we get an error now the error that gets served right here because on localhost 3000 the root page the home page right there is under pages is the index page right here Okay, so in next year is we don't have to actually add any routing right there. Next year has handled all the routing by the pages names right that we have right here. So if we have an index page, that will be a home page. So any other pages that we add in here, like about, they will automatically be added as a route in there. Okay. Now I'm not worried about the error that we get because we get module not found. So if we go up to the top. You will see that we have our styles module.home.css. Now, this one we deleted when we started our project. I'm not too concerned with that because I'm going to delete everything in here and create a new component. So, don't worry about the error right there. We're just going to say home and I'm going to just change this to an h1. I'm just going to say home page. And so then let's just refresh this. So as you can see, we've got a home page right there. So now we're all ready to go, but not yet. So what I want to do is I want to create a different layout. Now let's say for the person that's authorized, I want them to go to the dashboard. I want them to view a different layout than the one for the ones that's authorized for the front end pages. Okay, so for that, we're going to create layouts, navigation, and all that kind of things. So that's the intro for that, so that we're going to discuss going forward. I'm just going to create layouts and how you create them and how to use them. So going forward, all right, so we're going to make this pretty right here. So thank you guys for watching and do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.